today we are going to see immune dominant component as web services and SOA lab third experiment service oriented architecture lab third experiment and this experiment uh, tells about creating a dotnet web service and dotnet web client so first of all we have to move to file new website ASP dotnet web service and give your name any uh, and here you have to check it out that uh, location is file system and here the language is going to be visual c sharp it is been set to visual c sharp uh, while uh, giving that and here dotnet framework 3.5 asp dotnet web service asp dotnet web service you have to click on asp dotnet web service and uh, first of all you have to create a service for the for, first of all you have to create a dotnet web service so we are giving a name for the application website application we are giving it as sara any any name name is venka uh, twinki venki service serve in case sir okay and it will pop up like this so what you have to do here is in the uh, app code you go for app code and uh, change the service to another name we give it as operation or something as such operation.cs in service.asmx go and double click that and give that uh, operation.cs and operation operation.cs operation and save this go this and change the service dot asms to operation dot asms now go for your public class service instead of service you are going to give it as operation now we give it as operation and uh, something will pop up like this and you have to give rename service to operation reference to this class name in markup will not be renamed do you want to continue yes So I have created a service operation constructor has been created. Now we are, what we are doing here is uh, we have to have a web method over there for every method. Now I am going to create a web service and this web service is going to be a factorial web service. Let it be a factorial web service. Public long factu of long n then is the input and uh, we are going to create a factor web service so we can use a recursive function for this purpose or we can create a for i is equal to 1 to n f uh, int f is equal to 1 f star f is equal to f star i but uh, i am going to create a recursive function for this purpose so i'll uh, what will i do here is if n equal to 0 or n equal to 1 return 1 return 1 else return so n star Fact of fact two fact two of n minus one. So this is going to return a service. So we will build the service, build solution, build started, build exit, build exceed. So now we can give control F5 for start without debugging, or we can press this green button this green button so we are pressing this green button ok so facto service description will come facto that's a web method we have to give the web method before every uh, this one so it becomes that one 
that it pops up like this for two now i give uh, some number nine because it's uh, given as long i can give nine so three six two eight eight zero this is going to be uh, this one we shall check with uh, smaller numbers five one twenty one into two into three into four into five six six is what's twenty four twenty four five is uh, one twenty Six sound yeah. So it has come out correctly. Now what you do here is click here for the complete list of operations service description. So copy this WSDL URL and close this. So now I've copied this WSDL URL. Now we have created a service and it has went out uh, successfully. So uh, now what I will do here is I will go and click another uh, Visual Studio 2008. So now I am going to create a client for the created application. So now file new website, ASB.NET website. Now I am going to give you a Winky client. CLNT. Visual Shisham should be checked over here. File system, ASP total website should be checked over here and uh, okay. So now I got it like this. It's a website ASP.x ASP dot x dot ASPX. Now we've got dot ASMX. And here is call as dot ASPX. Uh, so now go to design view. Before that, go to source view, uh, go to solution explorer, right click this, add web reference. I'll copy the WGL URL, so I'll control V that and uh, go for that. This come as operation factor, it's come there. Uh, localhost, I can give localhost or some name. So I'll give localhost itself and I will add reference to it. So reference has been added. So now, so I will remove in the design view I will remove this div because uh, I don't want uh, some this one. So I will remove this and uh, I will go for design view. It will be showing form 1. So go for this. Factorial of the given number. It's going to be heading of the, this one of the given number. Now I'm going to give a text box. So, and I'm going to give And I'm, I'm going to give a button over there. So now I'm going to click right click this properties. Now I'm going to give find factorial. It's going to be the caption for that. Right. So I've given and I'm going to create another text box. I'm going to, I'm going to create, give you another text box. Before that I'll uh, do one thing. The result is text box. So now I've created a text box also. Now we have to write a code for this button. If I click this button, I need to get. If I give the inputs of some inputs, and if I click this button, I need to get a output of the factorial. Output as a factorial of a given number. Before going to it, I've given a ref reference over there. So what will I do here is localhost dot operation. Yes, equal to new localhost dot operation. 
Now what will I do over here is in the button one, I need to what I need to get is I need to get the uh, input in the form of long. So what will I do here is long d equal to long dot pass of text box one dot text so I got the output now I need to pass this output to the function here we are not calculating any function the function is present in the service and I am going to call the service alone here so what will I do here is uh, long res equal to s dot back to of d I am not doing any functions over here nor like anything that frequency function is present in the factor of service and it has come over here pop over here so now what I have to do here is text box 2 dot text is equal to text equal to convert dot to string of is so uh, when I click this button, it will like get the input from the text box one and uh, give convert it to long, and uh, it will pass to the function fact two, and uh, this result is given to this string to the text box two. So this is what. So now we will build this uh, website. So now we will uh, run this. Before that, I need to check it out uh, again. Design will go to design view ASP, uh, ASPX. I have given uh, one text box, one button and uh, another text box for result yeah. so now I will run this control F5 you can give for start with the debugging and now we will run this website so I will give 9 3 is 2 8 0 when I give 6 so that we got the output as 720 but it was in the XML format now we have created a client which is in a user interface like uh, buttons and everything so uh, it's a website and that was the web service should be clear about the context uh, distinction between the web service and the website thank you